Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for being you, just showing support towards me and towards others. And, you know, pushing towards a positive direction, making a positive impact on people's lives and improving yourself to be a better person. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when the girls about to upload the next video if you are you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or you're just telling me about your empathic gift and how it you know impact your life heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and you would love to share with somebody, you know, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for showing love and support to the content of the videos and, you know, the channel. And I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. Ooh, sorry, my nose started itching, y'all. I know I'm about to get on some stuff right now, so uh on some uh really good stuff that we need to talk about um the video i mean the meditation music that i'm listening to today is called healing music piano calming music soothing sleeping music relaxing nature and i will post that link in the description box below and the video i'm doing today is empath staying strong through the midst of the, the war we have to stay strong in the midst of the war because we have gone through so many wars it doesn't make it any different except the situation that we're in. We're still the same person. We just have, we just know a lot more that because we've been through so many things. We have to stay strong into this because it's just like we are steady being tested every day. We're being tested on our knowledge. We're being tested on things that, you know, are you going to respond to them the way you responded before? You know, it's just a lot of things on just to see how much you've grown. When you can sit up here and say <clears throat> to yourself, I feel myself evolving. I see myself becoming stronger. You know, when you put that out to the universe, it's like, okay, well, let me put this to the test. And it's just like, you know, they have their weird dark sense of humor on how to see if we if we really consider ourselves being strong or we consider ourselves really evolving. Because I was always that type of person where, you know, I can take positive, you know, constructive criticism, but if it's somebody, you know, that's trying to, drawing to divert personal jabs at me i used to clap back so quick and you know y'all even known that from if you've been with me for a while there's people that tested me in a certain way just to get up under my skin and stuff like that and i will allow them to make me come out my character and show my ass and i'm just like you know what you can you can be classy but yet you can have people respect you at the same time without having to come out you know come out like that because half of the time when i see people will say say things to me and leave messages you know i had to know i had to have a tough skin because it's just when i know where i'm heading towards i'm gonna have to have a tough skin for that i'm gonna have to be able to be strong through anything that's been said or done to me because it's just like at the end of the day i'm the one who has to wake up with the situation you know the decisions i've made the life that i have to live i'm the one who has to go to sleep with that you know nobody else can intervene intervene with that unless it's god so it's just like you know you have to really look at your situations for what they are you know we're in the midst of the war but we're soldiers we have we are trained we have been trained even when we were like dad we didn't sign up for this yes the heck we did yes you did you have signed up for this and it's just like we have recruited ourselves to make this world a better place because it's just too much hell raising right now and we see the revelations that are going on with people are dropping dead left and right you know people are gunning folks down in um battle people being sent over to a war that we really don't want to fight you know we're being divided amongst colors and religions and sexual preference you know we're having all these different um weathers is turning around that it looks very much like revelations we're having fire water floods you know in places people evacuating from their homes that they had for years so things are evolving they might not be changing the way we would like 
but they're changing. But we we have that voice to sit up here and make that positive. We have that that energy. If we can put so much energy on hell raising and dividing and hate, we can put that energy on something positive by trying to make a difference. Save what little piece of world we got left. Because if we keep acting a fool and we keep shooting down people and it's just like, it, it to me, not to talk about government or, you know, offend anybody any kind of way, but it's just like when we see these these uh, floods that are going on from years ago, they, they could have said something a long time ago, but it, it's just like, it's, it's like wiping itself out like Mother Nature taking this course because there are certain places that are uh, overpopulated. You know, they feel like, you know, well, we can eliminate a lot of our problem if there's not a lot of problem to deal with. You know, we have to look at stuff like that. We have to look out, you know, deeper into the, you know, the situation, you know, step out the box and really see it how it is. And that's how I feel about certain things, that there are certain things that could be, you know, deviated from happening or, you know, eliminated from even happening. But sometimes people that allow things to happen because they feel like that's the best way of going about it but you know we're all in a war fighting different dis situations and fighting different demons but when you can be able to turn those things around and be able to stand in the midst of it and knowing that you got, you got all the armor of God and the universe standing behind you and knowing you can get through this it would be no problem because we, we can't worry about who is behind us or who is against us when we know what's for us when we can realize what's for us then we ain't got to worry about who's against us because you, you know you're protected in any way shape form or fashion it's just that you have to believe in it and trust in it so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video I'm sending so much love and light and positivity and uplifting vibes and healing vibes and loving vibes especially if you truly need them so now as much love and light and positivity and prosperity as you truly can know that you are blessed highly favored and truly loved and knowing there is always somebody out there praying out there for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I'm saying that again because we really truly need to do that. And um, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. You know, hit that notification bell and, you know, drop me a line and let me know you, you know, you're going to be notified. And, you know, drop me a line. Also, just, you know, open up and let me know more about you as you are about me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or, you know, just uh, tell me about your empathic gift. And, you know. Give me a thumbs up, like me, and share on your social media favorites if I've not said that, but y'all have to realize it's my fourth video. <laughs> so I might say stuff redundant. So I do apologize. But my post notification shout out for y'all today. Um, let me see who am I gonna tell today, today, today. Um What's up, Frederick? Much love to you, fam. I hope everything is going good for you. I hope everything is starting to go into motion for you, which I hope, you know, I think they are. So, uh, much love to you. Stay blessed and prosperous and hope you have a, a great week. And I will see you on my next video. Peace, much love, be wild.